Tyla, I'm nervous because I'm happy to see my friend, my college roommate, marry a man that deserves her, but that she deserves as well. When I first met Q, I'm going to tell you something, I knew he was raised right. He was raised the way I was raised as a child. He had, he had manners, yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am. And I'm going to tell you something, you young black men out here today, when you meet somebody's parents, show respect. Q did that from day one, and he's still doing that today. So right after he met Tyler, he got the job that he wanted, and he went off to Georgia. And if you talk to him while he was in Georgia, you've seen the change. Everything was, he was driving from Georgia to here to see her. And if you ever drove from Georgia to Virginia, that's a long drive. <laughs> he did it multiple times. And you know, once I got to know Tyler a little bit, I met the girls. And now, if you got a chance to see Don, that's his life right now. He loves Tyler, but those two little girls are his world. From when he told me, he was, hey, we potty training him. Or you know how Don loves his car. When I seen the car seats in the back, I knew it was real love. <laughs> so, I'm going to wrap this up by saying, I think they found the perfect match for each other. And as the Lord blessed this union, we ask that your, all your ups and downs be in the bed. <laughs>